video today on eyelash extensions. Thank you to those who are already in the Style Squad and are coming on back to the channel. And if you're not already a Style Squad member, consider hitting that big subscriber button down there and show me some love so that you can see more videos in the future. So like I said, today's video is all about eyelash extensions. And this is a really hot topic right now in the beauty community. And something I've been doing a lot of research on lately so I'm hoping that this video will be helpful for you guys now I am currently wearing my first ever set of eyelash extensions and I got them done about a week ago so I feel like now I've gotten used to them and I have kind of a good idea of what I think about eyelash extensions and how they fit into my life. So I'm hoping this video will be helpful for you guys as I talk about the experience of the application and getting your eyelashes on, talking about the personal care of your eyelashes as well as some of the health things that go along with those. And also as I just talk about the pros and cons, what I've experienced with eyelashes, why I like them, why maybe I don't like them as much, and just talk to you guys about that, as well as a discount code for you guys if you live in the Seattle area to get your very own eyelash extensions at 15% off. So that code will be down in the description, and I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. I got my eyelash extensions done by Studio Vell, which is a local salon here in the Seattle area. I went to their salon in Tukwila and had mine done there, and it was a great experience. Uh, Joyce was so nice and so like easy and comfortable kind of a person, so it was really easy to just fall into conversation and feel really relaxed, even though you're kind of in a little bit of an awkward situation having to just lay there for two hours with your eyes closed. It was really a easygoing experience and it wasn't stressful at all. One of the questions I had before I got my eyelashes done was just like, what does it feel like? Does it hurt at all? And so I wanted to go into a little bit more detail about what it feels like so you guys know what the experience actually feels like as the eyelashes are going on so it doesn't hurt there's no place where I would say like that was painful but there are definitely a lot of times where it felt uncomfortable for example at the beginning of the session before they start doing any of your eyelashes they have to apply these stickers to the bottom of your eyes so that your eyelids are completely separated. So basically the sticker goes in between where your bottom eyelid is and where your top eyelid is. And this just makes sure that even as your eyes are closed that there's nothing getting on your bottom lid or on your bottom lashes because that would be really bad if you somehow like glued your eyes shut. So basically this completely prevents that but it is a little uncomfortable, especially when it's first applied, because it's basically, I mean, it's right in there, right where your eyeball is. So it does uh, feel a little bit uncomfortable when they first apply it, and my eyes teared a lot, but I wouldn't, I still wouldn't say it was painful. I don't think it was painful at all. It was just very, like, irritating when they first put it on. And then after a little while, you just get completely used to it and it doesn't bug you at all. So it's really just when they're first putting those on, that was probably the most uncomfortable part of the entire process. As they're applying the eyelashes, you can feel them kind of like separating your eyelashes and going through to make sure they're just putting you know, one eyelash extensions onto the eyelash. So, so it was really cool to kind of feel that, but I wouldn't say that it hurt at all. It was just kind of like a weird sensation. I don't really think it tickled either, which I, I know some people have said that it tickles a little bit, um, but to me, I'm a, usually a really ticklish person, but to me it didn't tickle at all. It was just kind of a weird sensation to feel your eyelashes being moved around up there. So props to Joyce at Studio because it was a really great experience overall it wasn't painful it wasn't awkward and it was just a really nice kind of relaxing time and it was 
under two hours too, which was great because that was exactly the time that she quoted me. And from the time I walked into the building to the time that I walked out was like exactly two hours. So it was perfect in uh, the time that she quoted me and everything. And it was a really great experience. So now after we've talked about the experience of the application, I did want to kind of insert a little warning in here for you guys. Uh, before I went and got my eyelashes done at Studio Bell, I did a lot of research about not only eyelash extensions, but specifically about the salon that I was going to and about the artists at that salon because I wanted to make sure that they knew what they were doing and that they weren't going to screw anything up. So I looked at all their reviews and I looked at everything and I really want to encourage you guys to do the same thing. If you are considering getting your eyelashes done, definitely do your research, do your due diligence on studying up the person who is going to do them because if they are not good at what they do, it can be painful or it could harm your natural lashes so make sure that you're doing your research and you're looking into the people that you're hiring for this to make sure that they're doing it in a way that not only is going to look good but is also going to be good for your natural lashes so now that we've got that little disclaimer out of the way I wanted to talk to you about the lashes themselves and how they fit into my life so the personal care for your lashes is really simple you're just supposed to comb through them with a spoolie every time they get tangled so they usually recommend like in the morning when you do your makeup and at night before you go to bed I definitely haven't had too many issues with mine getting tangled mine are classic lashes so there is just one lash to one lash um, they're not like volume ones where they put three lashes to one lash so it, you might have more issues with tangles there but for me, it hasn't been an issue at all. I just kind of comb them through when I do my makeup and comb them through before bed and it works out great. I have changed up the way that I wash my face uh, because you don't want to rub or you know get them too wet if you don't have to. So what I used to do was kind of splash my face with water to rinse off my face and I have started using a washcloth instead so that I can concentrate where I'm rinsing my face. So I'll just have a wet washcloth and I'll wipe my face off. And so I can wipe around my eyelashes versus just like splashing water into my entire face, in which case a lot of the water ends up right in my eye area. I had my lashes for a week, like I said, and over that entire week, I've only lost five lashes. So um, unless there's lashes I'm somehow missing, but they're pretty big, so it's hard to miss if they fall out. And um, that was one of them was when I was combing it through. One of them was the first time I washed my face. And then the other times I've just been like, while I'm doing my makeup. So it hasn't been an issue at all. And I still have very full lashes, even though I'm a whole week into the lashes. Some of you guys might be wondering what it feels like to have lashes on, so I wanted to talk a little bit about that. First of all, it does not feel like falsies. That's kind of what I was expecting it to feel like, but I, I think they are a lot lighter than falsies, and because they're not actually touching any part of you other than your eyelashes, you can't really feel them at all, which is really nice because I was thinking that you might be able to feel them, they might feel kind of heavy, but it's not the case at all. The one time that you do feel them, and this is one thing that sort of annoys me sometimes, is because mine are longer and they're very curly. When you open your eyes wide like this, you can feel them touch your brow bone, and sometimes it kind of tickles. So if you're like looking down, and then you like look up with your eyes, it just feels really weird. So so that's like my one time when I can actually feel them and where I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, I have eyelash extensions on. Uh, and that's like the one time where I really notice it. It is weird the way that they actually feel if you touch them because they don't feel like your natural lashes. They are thicker than your natural lashes and so they have a little bit more of a crunchy feeling. But that, again, doesn't really affect the way they feel at all when you're just going about your day and just living your life. So honestly, they aren't 
very noticeable at all. So to wrap up this video, let's talk a little bit about the pros and the cons of eyelash extensions. So one thing that I've thought of that I don't necessarily love about eyelash extensions is just the fact that you have to commit to them. And this is what I mean by that. If you are just living your normal life and sometimes you use mascara, sometimes you use falsies, you have different kinds of falsies, you can switch up your look however you want, no matter what. You can change it, you can be like totally casual one day and just use a little bit of mascara. You can amp it up and use a ton of mascara. You can put full on falsies on, you can put natural looking falsies on, you can put crazy looking falsies on. You can switch up your look however you want depending on the occasion or the outfit that you're wearing that day. With eyelash extensions, you are committed and tied into that one type of eyelash look for that entire time. You can't put mascara on, you can't put falsies on, and you can't like tone it down either. So with me, mine are very long. So if I have a really natural makeup look on, it looks a little bit out of place. I love the way that it looks when I have like a full makeup look on with darker shadows, like a smoky eye or something. I love the way that it looks then. But when it comes to a more natural look, I do think it looks a little bit out of place. So that's kind of my one complaint with the appearance is simply that you can't change it. That's, I think, combated by a lot of the pros, but that is one con that I've experienced. The other one is just the like tickling of the brow bone. I don't, I don't know what, but every once in a while it's just like, oh. <laughs> And another con is also just the care of them. You have to be careful with them because you don't want to hurt them. So with your natural lashes, you're fine with just like scrubbing your face, you're fine with laying on your face. But when you have lash extensions on, you have to be a little bit more mindful of them. You know, like how am I washing my face? Am I gonna be hurting them? You know, how am I doing my makeup? I need to make sure I'm not, you know, hurting them when I'm doing my makeup. So diff different things like that, just having to be mindful of them and take care of them in that way. Those are really the only cons that I can think of and the pros I feel like really outweigh them. So the number one pro that I love about these is just the time saver that they are. It takes me so much less time to do my makeup in the morning because I can't really wear a lot of eyeliner with them, which eyeliner is a huge time consumer, and I can't wear mascara with them, which is another huge time consuming aspect of my makeup. So when you eliminate those two, it's like, wow, I shaved like 15 minutes off of my prep just from eliminating eyeliner and mascara. And if you're gonna consider the way that they look, that they really look like I'm wearing falsies, for me to apply falsies is like a half hour endeavor where I wage war on my eyelashes. So that is a huge time saver. Another pro is just the ease of effort. Like you don't have to put very much effort into your makeup for it to look like you put a ton of effort into your makeup. So that is my list of pros and cons. And I hope that this video has been really helpful for you guys as you do your research about eyelash extensions and decide if they're right for you. So again, if you are in this Seattle area, make sure you take advantage of my promo code Hannah Christine Style so that you can get 15% off your first full set of lashes from Studio Bell. Like I said, I really loved my experience there and I have really done a lot of research into them and their qualifications and so I'm happy to recommend them to you if you are in the Seattle area. If you liked this video or you found it helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up and like I said earlier, if you aren't yet in the Style Squad, make sure you subscribe so you can enjoy tons of style-related videos. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll chat again soon.